A lot of us have hobbies outside of our day jobs, and one Nebraska man's hobby takes him to his basement and the macabre. That's where we find Lindsay Thies today. Lindsay, what are you working on today? You know, I have a few friends there on the skinny side that have joined us. And this is a side project from an Omaha man where his day job is at PayPal and his night job takes him here. Brett Cruz has a hobby that no bones about it, some might find a little weird. This is my sixth, I think, skull mold I've, I've made. I think online we've, I've, sold, I've sold 170, 170 or so. The Skull Guy started by loving Halloween as a kid. As a grown-up, he wanted to decorate his own home for Halloween. The store didn't really have anything of the quality he liked. It started with these life-sized creepy creatures. And then the creations got a little more heady. June 2014, Cruz made his first mold of a skull. Now in his basement lair, or workshop, he has dozens of skulls. Copper, husker, and your traditional whitish. He even made glam silver and gold skulls for his wedding. What does your wife think? Yeah, oh, she, she loves them. I tell people what I do for a living, and then she's like, she always loves to drop. Oh, he also makes skulls in the basement. And they're like, what? <laughs> so... He ships the skulls all over the world, thanks to Etsy. Australia, Spain, Norway, Poland, France, the United Kingdom, the list goes on. Who knows what the future will hold for Brett Cruz and his skull hobby business. But whatever he has in mind, no doubt it will be creative and maybe even a little bit spooky. And I love it. Uh, he doesn't have a bright pink one that matches my nail polish. So, of course, I come out and Brett says, I'm going to put you to work. So, uh, I'm going to very gently pack this in, but he packs them and ships them all over, thanks to the stuff that he sold on Etsy, about 170 so far. Uh, Brett Cruz says, though, he only plans to keep this a hobby, not going to go into the full-time uh, school business for now. <laughs> We're live in Northwest Omaha. I'm going to send it back to you.